morning, y'all. Wake God. <laughs> I'm up with you. God bless y'all. Okay. Y'all keep on taking y'all time. <clears throat> One day at a time. You're going to go through ups. You're going to go through downs. Can't have one without the other. All right, uh, can't have daytime without nighttime, man. <laughs> it's going to be some times when things ain't too pleasant. <laughs> all right, uh, but it's all good. You're going to be all right. Uh, I wrote something like two years ago uh, on my door. If you, anyone of y'all, if any one of y'all ever come to my, where I be at, you gonna see writing all in the house. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I surround myself in the Lord's where it's good to surround yourself in God's word. But anyway, <clears throat> you're gonna go through things. But don't worry about that. You're gonna go through good things too. And uh no matter what you go through on this side of the field, it don't compare with the, the things that's gonna happen for you in the future. You might go through a little bumps and bruises right now. <laughs> but when you what they say, when you're in the gym balling or whatever. Uh, don't nobody want to shoot with you or something to get in the gym or something, whatever they say. Don't nobody shooting with you in the gym. Whenever you start balling, where you just know you went through it. All right, God bless you. You went through it and you made it. You know what I mean? This ain't for everybody because don't everybody suffer for the Lord and go through it. But for those who do, when it's your time to shine and rain, don't be shocked or surprised. You went through it. You know what I mean? For a long time. But God bless you. But keep on taking the good with the bad because you got to take experience. Well, a lot of people want to rule. Before you can rule, you must know how to serve. And serving is not easy. I ain't talking about, you know what I mean? I'm talking truly serving, serving the Lord. It's not easy. All right. But bless the Lord, though. His yoke is easy, you know what I mean? And his burden is light. I love that. All glory, honor, praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Amen. <clears throat> Whatever today is, Sunday. I always love Sunday. Man. Sunday, May 28, 6.04 a.m. 2023. It is early. <laughs> Word up. God bless y'all, man. Look, notice nobody burp. <laughs> uh, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is I could have saved so much on my car insurance if I would have went to <laughs> uh, <laughs> the bad news is we live in a world full of sin, you know. We contaminated by sin. <laughs> um, we go through it down here. You know, we're gonna mess up and make mistakes. There ain't no way around it, like the brothers say on that song. Ain't no way around it. <laughs> right up. You know what I mean? But it is a way around it. <laughs> God made a way around it. He made a way for us to get through it. And how was that? That's the good news. God so loved the world, amen, that he sent Jesus. <laughs> I love it. He sent Jesus. I love that. You know what I mean? He did something that the world can't reverse. He went to that cross, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the greatest news of everything. It ain't a mistake you can make yesterday, today, or tomorrow. It ain't nothing sin can have on you yesterday, today, or tomorrow. It ain't nothing the world can do to you yesterday, today, or tomorrow. That Lord Jesus ain't fixed at the cross. I love that. You're going to be irritated from time to time. Jesus said in this world, you're going to have trouble. <laughs> ain't no escaping that. <laughs> Jesus said, in this world, you're going to have trouble. Uh, look, you know what I mean? People think you're going to be perfect peace all the time. Nah. And, and Jesus and God, you got peace. If you keep your mind stayed on God and focus on his word, he'll keep, he'll keep you surrounded in his peace. But even with that, <laughs> you can't stop the birds from flying over your head. As one of the brothers used to say, he passed away, Reverend John. I think he say something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> or you can't stop the birds from flying over your head, bro. Whatever, but you can't stop them from pooping on you or that if that make any sense to you. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, you, all right, so you're going to be all right. Where am I going to? I was going somewhere. It's, it completely slipped my mind. I, I love, uh, <clears throat> where is it? I had it somewhere on my phone. It ain't there no more. Um, I love what it say in John chapter 8, verse 36. It say, so if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. John chapter 8, verse 36. If the sun sets you free, you'll be free indeed. You know, a lot of y'all feel trapped. It's all types of prisons and stuff. Uh, where? Some physical prisons, spiritual prisons, all types of prisons, bro. A lot of y'all been trapped in many type of ways. Like where? But I love the fact that uh, Jesus will set you free. Even if you 
still in chains. You know what I mean? He has set you free mentally and, and spiritually. I love that. You're going to have some type of peace in your heart. I love that. You're going to go through it from time to time, but he will set you free. I love that. I love that. Divine tell you, you ain't too free, Ish. <laughs> Physically, maybe I'm still bound a little bit, but if the Lord sets you free in your mind, you can count it good. You can take it to the bank. I love that. People wonder how I do what I do, what I have. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's still, I'm still not in this pleasant situation, bro. <laughs> and stuff ain't too bright for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> if I was to focus on, I'm just like y'all, my parents don't like how y'all do. If I was to focus on the things around, I'd be kind of irritated and be a down person, you know what I mean? But I'm telling you, I love, I love what the Lord said. I can't set you free. Uh, but I know somebody who can. Uh, yeah, I can't set you free. But I do know somebody who can, if you bear with me. Uh, it's in Luke, chapter 4. Bear with me for a second, please. You see, I'm highly uncoordinated. Yeah, I can't set you free, but the good news is I know somebody who can. Luke, chapter 4, verse 14. Uh, it says, Jesus returned to Galilee. And the power of the spirit and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He was teaching in their synagogues and every and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogues. And as was his custom, he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet uh, Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to, pro to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. <clears throat> the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began saying to them, today the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. A lot of fact. If you truly come to Jesus and know who he is, he will set you free. Uh, he will set you free, even if you're still physically bound. <laughs> if Jesus sets you free, you're free in your mind, babe. I'm telling you. The people might not understand. They can see it, though. Uh, I, I love that. Lord, give me where I was going to because I completely lost it. Uh, you know, I know some, a lot of fact, uh, it's, it's something about the Lord's word, man. <laughs> when you take him at his word, you're never going to get step two until you take step one. You know what I mean? If you don't know how to pray, I love the fact that Jesus prayed for the people. I love that. Go to John chapter 17. John chapter 17. Uh, it's a reason. <clears throat> it's good to hold on to God's word. You hear me? As much as you can. You hear me? Uh, as much as he gives you, hold on to it. Because a time coming when the people going to be on a drought of God's word. But for the people who listen to me, not listen to me, but who listen to the Lord through me, because it's not a lot of people who pay attention. I know it's not a lot of people. Jesus came down here and talked to these people face to face. what they do? They put him on the cross. What do you think they're going to do to Devontae? You think they're going to respect Devontae too much? Not at all. But for the people who do pay attention, I listen and I appreciate everybody God has ever put in my life from all the pastors on that radio station to the people I meet, to the simple conversations, you hear me? Uh, I thank God for the people the Lord put down uh, and pay attention to. Not everyone going to pay attention to you, you know what I mean? Know that. That's me telling you that off the rip. You can have something amazing you want to show somebody. People treat the things that... People treat the important things less important, and they treat the less important things highly important. If I was to get on here and tell people how to make money or do this or do that or how to, uh, I can't talk like I want to talk on here or whatever, but people would be more fascinated, interested in that, and support me in that. That ain't going to leave me number straight to jail or straight to the graveyard. You know what I mean? they support me in that. If I was to want to have a rap career or do something that ain't got nothing to you know that that's that's highly stupid, you know what I mean, that's gonna cause more problems and then fix the problem. They will support me in that. You know what I mean? Like where? Uh but the things if God was showing me something today, tomorrow, to say the city, you know what I mean, to show the people something, like, you know, I I, I like to read the stuff people leave when they be on 
when they leave comments on the YouTube or whatever, you know what I mean, for people's music. <laughs> and they be talking about the rap people. We, we got to protect these people. <laughs> that dude don't give two cents about y'all. You know, y'all spend all this money with these people to go to their shows or whatever. They don't, they don't care two cents about y'all at the end of the day. I'm just saying. <laughs> Word. Uh, so protect this person. Word. That person don't care if you know the Lord or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm just saying. The people support the people of the world who don't care two cents about them. But if somebody try to, I'm telling you, they don't care nothing about the things that's important, if that make any sense to you. So, Jesus said, if the world hates you, take it from me. They hated him first. <laughs> Why not? Don't be too surprised, bro. But it's going to be a time coming when the people going to be a drought on God's word. But for y'all who pay attention to the to the Lord's people, uh, y'all going to be pretty good. <clears throat> My, it's good to hold on to God's word. The, you don't know how to pray. I love the fact that Jesus prayed. John 17, verse 1, uh, it says, Jesus prays to be Jesus prays to be glorified. After this, uh, after Jesus said this, John chapter 17, verse 1, he looked toward heaven and prayed. A lot of fact, you know, I was listening to the man earlier on the radio. When we pray, uh, we tend to close our eyes, which ain't nothing wrong with that. A lot of people get on their knees, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, that's a that's a uh Position of submission. Ain't nothing wrong with getting down on your knees praying. You can stand up and pray. <laughs> well, Jesus said if you stand up, pray. Make sure you ain't got no hatred in your heart towards somebody or something. You can be on your knees praying, stand up praying, can close your eyes and pray. I love the fact that Jesus looked toward heaven and prayed. <laughs> I love that. He ain't close his eyes. He he looked toward heaven and prayed. I love that. After Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to those who to those you have given him. Now, this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God. I love listen to what Jesus said. A lot of people be caught up over this and that. <laughs> if anybody ever listened to Jesus and the words he said, he pointed to his father in heaven. <laughs> Jesus believed in one God. <laughs> I thought Jesus was a God, Devonte. He is. He the Son of God. <laughs> but he also he has a father. Yeah, you'll get lost in the sauce. <laughs> and just by, by by what I just now said, will weed out the people who get lost in the sauce because they are they they gonna focus more on what I said about this and that, or instead of focusing on what Jesus said. Yeah, <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> the Lord gave us Jesus to to serve us through Him. You know what I mean? Everything we can do, we do through Jesus. That's why God sent Jesus. I can't serve God on my own. You hear me? In fact, everything I do is a failure. You know what I mean? But God sent Jesus. All I got to do is put my faith and trust in him. All you, all you got to do is put your faith and trust in God's word. In the beginning was God's word. Bless the Lord. The word became flesh. Jesus Christ is the word of God. <laughs> Man, you will get lost in the sauce. Uh, listen, listen. I love the fact that Jesus pointed to his father. <laughs> That's something people can't deny. You know what I mean? Jesus won't divide or division. If you can't understand Jesus, a whole lot of people can't understand Jesus. They get lost about him being the son of God. They get lost about him being the Messiah. They get lost about him being God's son. <laughs> or whatever. I'm just saying, listen, Jesus pointed out his father in heaven. He made it simple that a child can understand. Uh, now, this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, amen, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Jesus prays for his disciples, what the title said. <clears throat> Jesus prays for his disciples. Let me drink my coffee. What the rest of it. Put that junk get cold on. Please. I need it. I love, I love what Jesus prayed right here. Said, uh, Jesus prays for his disciples. Uh, John chapter 17, verse 6 say, Jesus said, I have revealed you, talking about his father, uh, our father. You know, I love the fact that Jesus called God his father. <laughs> My Muslim brothers call God Allah. <laughs> Allah. Jesus, Jesus uh, when he called God his father, he say Abba, <laughs> A-B-B-A. <laughs> Uh, my, my brother Muslims call God Allah. Allah sounds a lot like Abba. I told you I like to listen to the words. The words sound the words sound so much the same. It's like uh, if you're from a different part of the country, people get caught up in the words. Uh, but the words be they similar. Yeah, they similar for a reason. I, I love the fact you know a lot of Muslims uh, and my Jewish brothers 
they get caught up over Jews and Muslims. <laughs> well, I love the fact that the Prophet Muhammad consider himself a Hanif. What is a Hanif? <laughs> Hanif, H-A-N-I-F. Look up what it means. A true Muslim, true Muslims call themselves Hanifs. H-A-N-I-F. What is a Hanif? A Hanif is one who is who is in submission to God, who who fear the Lord. You hear me? Matter of fact, <laughs> I don't like. H-A-N-I-F. Hanif. <clears throat> uh, Hanif, if you type it in your phone, it's going to type up in Islam. A Hanif meaning re-renunciate. Re re I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Re-renunciate re is someone who maintains the pure monotheism of the partridge Abraham. I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. A true Hanif is one who got the faith of Abraham. You hear him? I love that so much. You hear him? And and coincidentally, the true Drew, the, the Jews who they call themselves Hebrews, Hebrew and Ham, two ages, they sound the same. You know, they, they similar. I, I like that. What is a Hebrew? A, a true Hebrew is one who's still on the other side. A Abraham was the first one to be called a, he a Hebrew. And what's that? He stood on the other side from his family. His family was caught up in worshiping other gods. You hear? God called Abraham away from his family. You hear? I love that. Hebrew and Hanif. <laughs> the Jews got Hebrew. My brother Muslims got Hanif. My, my brother Muslims got Hebrew. My brother Jews got Hanif. Two H's. I love that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They similar. Jesus called God his father, Abba. My brother Muslim, my brother Muslims called God Allah. <laughs> no, I like I love that so much. They similar. You know, they sound the same. Even they sound even sound the same. I love that. You hear me? Uh you see how I start thinking from one thing. Let me keep reading. Jesus said in John 17, verse 6, I have revealed you to those, <clears throat> I have revealed you to those who get, who, who, forgive me, Lord. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me and they have obeyed your word. You see, you're never going to get step two till you take step one. You hear me? For I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. They knew with certainty. I like this. When you know for yourself, anybody can talk to you till you blow in your face. But when you know for yourself that the Lord's word is true, can't no one tell you nothing different, man. You hear me? They knew, they knew with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but but for those you have given me, for they are yours. Amen. All, all, all I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and, gl and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I'm coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name. Amen. The name you gave me, so, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so that scripture will be fulfilled. I'm coming to you now, but I say these things while I'm still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word and the world has hated them for they are, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. Thank you, Jesus. They are not of the world, even as I'm not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Amen. As you, as you send me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them, I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. I'm going to finish reading this prayer. Jesus prays for all believers. Each and every single person that believes, Jesus prays for everybody. I love that. <clears throat> My prayer is not for them alone. I also pray for those who, who, who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you just as you are in me and I'm in you, may they also be in us, that the world may believe that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me, and they that they may be one as we are one, I and them and you and me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as even as you have loved even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you love me before the creation of the world. I love that. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue. I love that. <laughs> I love that. 
Jesus said, I have made you known to them. If anybody truly know who God is, Jesus Christ revealed, revealed, revealed God to them how. He is, Jesus is awesome, man. Hmm. You know, I'm telling you. Hmm. It ain't an angel. All angels do God's bidding. You hear me? Hmm. And God has placed his seal. God has placed, God our Father has set his seal of, of approval on Jesus Christ. You hear me? Hmm. It ain't an angel that don't go for it. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't an angel that don't go for it. It ain't nothing that don't budge without the permission of Jesus. You hear me? If anyone has ever been brought to God, it has been through Jesus Christ operating through the operating through the Holy Spirit using a vessel. Yeah. Vante, how you come to God? I couldn't come to Jesus on my own. The Lord used Jeremiah. Yeah. I, I love it. I love <laughs> I'd be lost all day if I was to go somewhere. Uh, <laughs> You're never gonna get step two to take step one. Step one, God gonna send his word through somebody. <laughs> Yeah, and if you take step one, you're gonna get step two. <laughs> and, <laughs> and step two gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you, you're gonna be all you're gonna you're gonna spend the rest of your life on step two. <laughs> What's step two? <laughs> Everything the Lord got to show you, it takes a lifetime. And even after we get done with this lifetime, we got all eternity <laughs> to get caught up on what he be doing in the past, on what he been doing in the past. What, what we gonna be caught up doing, man, in the future. <laughs> All the time, man. Let me finish reading. Uh, John chapter 17, verse 26, Jesus said, I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. Amen. I love that. I like that. I was going somewhere. <clears throat> Where was I going to? Where is me going to? I was going somewhere. Y'all bear with me. My mind started clicking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, it's good to stay in God's word, man. I love the fact that Jesus prayed for the people. Uh, and if Jesus sets you free, you truly is free. Even if you're still bound up some type of way right now, uh, you free in your mind. You hear? I'm telling you. You might. I'm telling you. You can take that to the bank. I'm telling you. All right. They 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 might turn you around, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I still take it to them anyway. All right. All right. I'm telling you. That making any sense to you? You know. Uh, let me get in to where I was going to get into. I was going somewhere. My mind started clicking. And I don't think it's time for me to read that. If my mind started clicking, y'all bear with me for a second. Go with me to. To Matthew chapter eight, um, finish talking about Jesus a little. I got seven minutes. Go with me to Matthew chapter eight. Um, yeah, Matthew chapter eight. Uh, finish talking about the Lord. It's good to stay. It's good to keep your eyes on the Lord, man. Like where I'm telling you, I like this nature. Matthew chapter eight, uh, verse one. The title say Jesus heals heals a man with leprosy. I'm gonna give y'all seven minutes of this show. Yeah, I completely forgot what I was saying. I, I ain't gonna be at show. I, I got three things on my mind. Um, I was going somewhere. Um, yeah, y'all bear with me. I was going somewhere. I ain't expect to be on here. All right. Well, God bless y'all. Yeah, I was going three different places. All right, but well, I'm gonna keep it simple though. Matthew chapter eight. I'm gonna stay with the Lord. Let him teach when this talk. Matthew chapter eight, verse one. Jesus heals a man with leprosy. What the title say? Uh, uh, nah, for real. Uh, I think I'm gonna get off here because I think I'm think I think I'm done. <laughs> hey, I think I'm done. <laughs> Where it's it's been. Too, yeah, I think I'm done. I ain't, I don't think I need to hit y'all too much more. Uh, but it, it's, it's it's something special about that. You know, if the Lord set you free, he, you truly is free indeed. Uh, even if you physically bound still or still in your situation, I'm telling you, like, it's hard to explain to you like I want. But if but the Lord let you, you you will see. You got some type of freedom. 
what Second Corinthians chapter uh, three verse seventeen say, wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You gonna go through some things, you know what I mean? But I, I do love that. I do love that. It ain't nothing. They can't keep you bound up, bro. Even even if you're physically bound, they can't keep you bound. You know what I mean? Why? I love that. And it's good to stand. It's good to stay, stay in God's word. You know what I mean? And if you can't pray, I love the fact that Jesus prayed for the people Himself. You know what I mean? Uh, where you sanctified by the truth. Uh, Jesus is the truth. Uh, I'll be all day if I keep on talking. So I'm getting off in. All right. God bless y'all. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all time, man. Keep taking y'all's time. Yeah. One day at a time, one step at a time. Keep that in mind. Y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be on with our Father in heaven one day and get up out of this place. You did. Oh, yeah. I can't read that. One of my favorite verses. <laughs> Getting up out of this place. Boy, I can't I can't leave y'all with that. What's your favorite verse? In, what's your favorite verse in the Bible to find? Say one man. Genesis chapter 12. <laughs> Word up. Genesis chapter 12. Uh Verses one through four say, uh, "The Lord said to Abram, Abram was Abraham is Abram. Uh, the, the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, your father's household to the land I will show you. You ain't got to tell me twice. Go. <laughs> I don't need to ask no question. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where you want me to slide to, but <laughs> you're gone. Got to tell me one of my favorite verses, boy." Uh, some of y'all can't slide, y'all. The Lord got y'all wherever y'all at right now for a reason. But when the Lord do say go, I know y'all just as ready as I am. You hear? <laughs> the Lord said, "Go from your country, from my country." Forget Virginia. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I tell people all the time, I'm not standing in Virginia, but y'all go here if y'all want to. Y'all keep this place. Go from your country, your people. Forget, get away from the people. I switch it up in a heartbeat. Get away from them. I can blend in. I can go anywhere I want to and blend in. Y'all go from your people? Sure. You ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> and from your father's household and get away from my, my relatives? It's probably a good thing. Uh, <laughs> word up. <laughs> I ain't tripping. Y'all know as well as I do sometimes. Uh, sometimes you need to get away from your environment. I love that. that. That movie and that Ray Charles movie always stand out to me when the mother sent him away. Like where? She, when she put him on that bus and sent that was the last time he seen his mom. Yeah, that's a it's a movie, but that's based on a true story. Yeah, I like that. His mom did the best thing she could do. She sent him away. So I'm telling that's the best thing that's the best thing that can ever happen to some of y'all's life. Yeah. I'm telling you, I know dude ended up whatever, you know the story, or whatever, but he still became great. You know what I mean? It's better than just being on the corner. You know what I mean? Because unfortunately some people Instead of getting sent away, they just send y'all to the corner. Y'all ain't getting too far as the corner. You know what I mean? You get you lucky and blessed if you don't go to the jet. That make any sense to you? You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. All right, but uh, I love that. I love I love that verse. Go from your country, your people. I'm gone in a heartbeat. Messed up being around here too long now. I'm telling you, I ain't supposed to be here. Word, I, I'm telling you. That's my favorite verse. I get lost thinking about that. I, I, I keep on talking. I think about that. I'm about to get off here. You know what I mean? But I keep on going with that one. So get to go from your country, from your people. I'm gone. You got to tell me twice, but my bags are packed. Y'all ain't going to see me on this. Y'all see me on here, but y'all ain't never seen me on here like that because I don't do this. You know what I mean? The, the, the Lord called me to be on a big platform. That's cool. But as far as that, bro, I'm blending in. You know, I blend in better than Jay-Z. What you talking to do whatever? Y'all don't see him. I don't know. I'm worried. He real smart. <laughs> he don't be on the internet. <laughs> I mean, I think like that, bro. Y'all ain't gonna see him on the internet posted up this and that out places. Nah, y'all tripping, bro. You gonna But far as seeing me talking on here, y'all ain't gonna see him on the internet. <laughs> seeing me out taking pictures. Nah, I ain't one of them people. Y'all tripping. I'm being in the country somewhere, working on my little farm. <laughs> yeah, working on my little farm, messing with messing with the animals. Fixing the fields, getting stuff ready. That's, that's, that's my type of life, bro. Forget the city stuff, bro. Waking up every day, early doing some dumb crap, working for money, whatever. The money come and go. <laughs> all you need is food and clothes. <laughs> you could get a farm and work that stuff and get this stuff. Get somebody, the, all the cotton, whatever, everything you need, material, bro. You, that stuff comes from the field and animals. <laughs> that's all you need. Get somebody know how to make it. That's what they did in the back in the day. You ain't got to go to the stove. 
whatever they got, pay the whatever it is, the Gucci, whatever, where they make that stuff, wherever they making it, you just need the material. <laughs> or get that stuff come from the field and the animals. All right. You just got to know somebody who know how to whip that stuff real good. But anyway, I'm getting off here. Yeah, I'll be on the farm somewhere, but y'all never see me. Tell you that now. Where? God bless y'all. Y'all keep on asking for the Holy Spirit. Because <laughs> uh, the Holy Spirit lead the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be hard our Father in heaven. I started thinking about that. I'm thinking about that getting out your country thing. <laughs> where? Go. Bro. I can't wait to get away from here. Y'all, I'm telling you. Where? Bro, I'm gone. I love y'all. I see y'all again. Y'all keep praying for me. I keep praying for y'all too. God bless y'all. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.